Hey lunatics, today we're going to be going over how to use the 3U tools to jailbreak a variety of iOS devices, mainly the iPad first generation. Today is a great day to learn, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to 3U tools website, and all the links will be in the description down below. Once we're here, we're just going to go ahead and download the tool. Once the download has finished, go ahead and run the program and install it on your machine. When that has finished, go ahead and launch it. And when the pop-up comes up to install the iTunes or the drivers, I went ahead and chose the drivers because I don't want iTunes bloating up my computer. Once the drivers have finished installing, go ahead and plug in your device. Once the tool has recognized your device, head on over to the Patch and Jailbreak tab up top. Once there, head to the Jailbreak tab on the left side. Go ahead and click on the Run Jailbreak button at the bottom to start it off. It'll take some time to finish, but once that's completed, let's move on over to the iPad. To get to this page, if it's not already on your device, head to your Settings, General, and Device Management. Go ahead and trust the developer on your screen. Once trusted, head on out to your home screen and open up the newly installed Phoenix app. Here we can see that our device is not jailbroken yet, so go ahead and click on the Prepare to Jailbreak button. We'll want to accept the terms and conditions, and go ahead and dismiss the free mixtape pop-up. And go ahead and click on the Proceed with Jailbreak button. Go ahead and begin the installation, and we're going to want to select the Use Provided Offsets option. storage full pop-up may appear but you can go ahead and dismiss that. Once it has finished installing and your device has rebooted, we're going to head back into the Phoenix app to verify that our device has been jailbroken. Once verified, we can head on over to the newly installed Cydia app. Cydia will have some updates for you to download, so go ahead and choose whichever option you want. Once that is complete, you now have a semi-tethered jailbroken device, which means if your device ever turns off, you'll have to go back into the Phoenix app and run through that whole process again. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if this video helped you, and comment any questions down below. Slack so, out.